name is Gabriel, and I am 11, going on 12 in a few, in two months. Exactly. I would like to show you this technological cross between a board game, a computer, um, a video game, and a photo album that I call Gabe's Italy Game. How it works is first, an operator touches the startup dongle. Let, um, it's actually a regular board game. Let's say I get a card that tells me to go to the portal. The operator touches the startup dongle. All the lights go blinkety blink. Ah, program error. There we go. Fixed. The the program um the main controller touches the light the control the main control pad. The portal turns on and flashes all its lights, and the TV starts streaming our program. Let's say I got Venice as my thing. So I go to Venice. The portal says active. When I release it, it plays these sounds. And shows a colorful and entertaining card. Randomly chosen. How many cards do you have? There are 12 per deck. Each monument has a different deck. In the case of Rome, the two together, there are 24 cards in total. Altogether, that's around 36, 60 cards, all of entertaining photos. Hmm. How you win the game is you get all the way from Rome 1, all the way around this way, and you go back to Rome, go around the second way, all of these places are all these dots are all places we went in the order that we went to Italy. I colored this whole thing myself, every inch of it. But I suppose you probably want to, or I suppose you're probably itching to know how that crazy contraption works over there in the corner. The portal. Dun dun dun. It took a long time to make, but it's actually not that complex. But anyway, here's how it works. I built this board game, but the real technological secret here is that. Cue the portal intro. The portal! Dun dun dun! The technology inside is actually quite basic. It's a mess of wires in um, copper pads that are crossed by the coin on the bottom of these figures. And trigger the port trigger the portal. Where's the stirs to make sure nothing goes kaboom? And LEDs that glow, and of course a board called a makey makey that converts the electrical information here into keyboard signals. This unfortunately somewhat basic program called Scratch can interpret. So how the Makey Makey works is when it detects a plus and a minus together, it makes your computer think that a key is being pressed, such as Y. So instead of having to go over here and press Y, when I touch one of these, it's pressing Y. That's sort of the idea. You can the prod they, um that's um this is really a basic use. You could also use it to shoot a picture of your cat on and obviously when it drinks from a bowl via a conductive mat. Why is this game important to you? This portal has pluses and minuses, and when they're put together, it triggers scratch. The Makey Makey output is enough to power two LEDs. We made it power! Dun 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 dun! Around six. Seven, I mean, to be exact. Um, we, we had to make LED Christmas lights. Yes, we soldered together wires and LEDs into Christmas lights. We could have bought them, but we made them. Oh, well. All of this 
this works together. TVs, cards, boards, non-technical and technical elements to build my Italy game. Oh, and one last question you probably want to know. Now, why is this huge technology piece that fills the entire floor of my living room so important to me? Well, it was one of my first big projects using what's called the Maker Movement. The Maker Movement means that anyone can make anything. And that goes from building a catapult, to building robots, to, to even just coding things. This project was sort of my somewhat of a free trial for the Maker Movement. And, well, thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Bye bye, as they say on Star, as they say on Star Tours, the ride at Disneyland.